You guys remember from our February Toy Fair video that Mia is very excited for Power Rangers Dino Fury. Told you so! Yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to trying this thing. Go Ranger Mia! <laughs> I'm trying to think, how should the theme song to that go? Should be something like, uh, here comes the Power Rangers Dino Fury. Something like that, right? Dino Fury. The dinosaurs, the knights, not animals. Dino Fury. Yeah, there we go. It needs work, but you know, just something, something like that. Hey guys. So yes, the 2019 Super Sentai series Ryu Soldier is going to be Power Rangers Dino Fury, which hopefully will still air in 2021. This series will have a wrist morpher. Ryu Soul Changer. Ryu Soul Change. This series in Japan is kind of like Power Rangers meets Legos, where you can just kind of snap things on and build and make big giant things. Here's the Lightning Collection Zed and Rita two-pack box art. Next, to go with your upcoming Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger. and your Lightning Collection White Ranger Helmet Siaya. Here's the Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Power Morpher. This new Power Morpher includes a display stand. It includes a belt buckle for clipping to your costume. It does say the coins are die cast, each of which unlocks lights, sounds, and phrases inspired by one of the original Power Rangers. As far as I can tell, the Morpher is able to tell what coin you're putting in, and then it has lights that correspond to the coin. So if you put a yellow coin in, you'll see yellow lights, red, red lights. You guys get it. Also, looks like this morpher will take AAA batteries. All right, so here are a couple of my power morphers. Do I need another one? No. Am I gonna buy the new one? Absolutely. Am I super excited for it? Eh, I'll have a better idea once I actually own it and see what it, it's like in person. At the moment, I certainly do have sufficient morphers. Dragon Sword! Boy Tiger Bastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Sabertooth Tiger! Dino Buckler! As a video person, I would love a morpher that had the lights like that, but no sound. So that way you didn't hear the, when you're recording your Triceratops. By the way, Bandai's was upside down. Not really the morpher, just the labels, because <laughs> you're supposed to hold the morpher like that. They fixed it with the legacy version, but the original, they had it upside down. If you replace the stickers, it could be correct. By the way, Hasbro did get the red button. The legacy morpher didn't have the red button. Today is actually our 17 year college graduation anniversary. But anyway, uh, I still remember when I was a kid, these were kind of magical. You could kind of feel the imaginary power. Oh, I was going somewhere with that, but I, I just noticed ages 18 years and up. I'm guessing that it's an actual power morpher that will morph you into a power ranger and they don't want to send people under 18 into battle. That, that would be my guess. That's the only reason I could think of for the morpher to be for ages 18 years plus. I. I Okay, but anyway, direct link in the video description for anyone interested. Next, we've got Lightning Collection Zordon and Alpha 5. Alpha does include his teddy bear. Push the button on the tube and it'll light up. I will say the Zordon on the back of the box does look a little bit different than the one that's actually in the box. With all the Mighty Morphin figures that Hasbro has done so far, I would say Zordon and Alpha are must have because now you can have all the Mighty Morphin Rangers, Zed, Goldar, Rita. You're gonna have Putty Patrollers. I'm sure they're gonna do more Mighty Morphin things. So you're probably gonna want Zordon and Alpha to complete the Command Center team. I hope Hasbro would do a Command Center playset. Direct link to Zordon and Alpha in the video description. And speaking of Mighty Morphin, Putty Patrollers are coming out. Here's a Putty 2 pack for $29.99. Looks like the same putty as before. However, the black marks on the two new putties look different than the one that came with the Tommy figure. So if you buy the two pack, you'll have three different looking putties from as far as I can tell from the images. And then last, we've got Lightning Collection Psycho Green. It's cool they did another figure from the comics, but I really would like to see yellow and pink if they're gonna do more Psycho Rangers. Also looks good, I'll put a direct link in the video description. I think it goes without saying, I'll most certainly and happily be getting everything that I just showed you guys here and stay tuned for videos on those items. But at the same time, I will say everything I just showed you guys, these are all things that were released by Bandai as well. Now, of course, some of these figures are serious upgrades to what we had before, like especially Rita. 
I mean, you can't really compare the one that Hasbro's doing to the one that Bandai did during Samurai. So, you know, finally, a good Rita. The 2010 Alpha was pretty good, but I, I'm thrilled to have a Zordon and Alpha in the Lightning Collection scale. I would love to see things that Bandai didn't already make. I would love to see a Finster, if we're still doing Mighty Morphin and Baboon Squad. I know some people would love a Scorpina. Lots of really good monsters from Season 1 and 2 and 3 from Mighty Morphin. If they do Psycho Rangers for red, blue, black, and green, and maybe even silver, and then yellow and pink don't happen, <laughs> I will not be a happy Bruno. Especially if I'm buying another set of five Psycho Rangers, then I'll end up with ten Psycho Rangers in two different scales, not having yellow and pink. I'm sure I'm not the only one that doesn't want that, so hopefully they will do yellow and pink. Oh, I just had another idea for theme song for uh, Dino, Dino Fury. I was going to say Jungle Fury. It's going to be bad. I was already having enough trouble with Dino Charge and Dun Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder, Dino Charge, Dino Fury, Jungle Fury. Okay, this will be a fight here. Here's another idea for the theme song. Here come the Power Rangers, Dino Fury, Ninja Steel. Eh? Eh? Hasbro, if you're watching and you would like to use that idea, you may. I'll sing it again. Here come the Power Rangers, Dino Fury, Ninja Steel. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyway, it's getting late. I should probably end here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Direct links are always in the video description. Thank you guys for watching and Dana Fury. Good night.